Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and this is the how to fix a disabled iPhone tutorial. Now this will work with your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch. So let's get started. Now before we begin, there are a few things you're going to need to have to ensure this works correctly. First off, you're going to need your iOS device that's disabled. I'm using the iPad mini 2 here. You're going to need either the lightning cable or the 30 pin cable depending on which device you're using. And lastly, you're going to need either a Mac or a PC. Moving over to our computer here, you may or may not need to install iTunes. We're going to go to apple.com slash iTunes and it'll take you to this page here. Basically, if you have Mac OS Catalina or newer, you don't need to install iTunes. There's a different method which we'll be showing you here. Very similar to iTunes, looks very similar as well. If you have an older version of Mac OS, you need to download iTunes 12.8 right here. And if you're on Windows, you need to download the Windows version of iTunes here as well. If you don't know how to check which version of Mac you have, click the Apple logo at the top. Click About This Mac. And it'll show you here what version of Mac OS you have. Once you have iTunes installed, or if you don't need to have it installed, you want to plug your iOS device up to your computer using either the lightning cable or the 30 pin adapter, depending on which device you have. When you do this, iTunes may pop up. If it doesn't, you want to open up iTunes on your PC or older Mac. And if you're using the latest version like us, you want to open your finders window here and you'll notice under locations, your iOS device will appear so you can click on that. Now before we go any further, there is a disclaimer with this tutorial. Keep in mind because our device is disabled and there is tons of security features built around these devices that I have exhausted all options I could find to try to recover the information on my device. So this tutorial is going to show you how you can restore the device back to its factory settings, meaning that you're going to lose all the information, all the data that's on this device, pictures, anything that's not saved to your iCloud and accessible somewhere else on another iCloud device, you're going Going to lose it. So be sure to enter in all your passcode attempts on the device and exhaust all other options you have prior to trying this tutorial. If you've exhausted everything else, this is going to be the way that I've found to at least get you access to your device once again. Lastly, at the end of the video when your device is restored, you will be asked to enter in the Apple ID or iCloud ID that was connected with this device before you disabled it. So you need to know the Apple ID and the password in order to unlock it at the end. If you don't know it, contact Apple, go through the process to try to figure out how you can access that Apple ID or iCloud ID once again. Now for this next step, we're going to enter our iOS device into recovery mode. Now depending on which device you have, you may have to use different methods. If you have a newer device to enter recovery mode, you're going to press the volume up rocker once, then press the volume down rocker once, and then just hold on the side button and you're going to completely hold on to this until you see it in recovery mode. Now for those of you with older devices like mine, to enter that recovery mode, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're just going to hold the power button and home button down together. You're going to let it turn off like this. Count about maybe 10 seconds or so. Then just start holding on the home button like so. Now mine popped up on screen. Your Mac has detected an iPad in recovery mode. You must restart the iPad before it can be used. I'm on my iPad settings under location. If you're using iTunes, it may or may not look the same depending on what version you're using. You may need to click on your iPad at the top or on the side. You just want to get into the screen where you can access your iPad, but it should pop up for you just as it did here. So I'm going to click OK. iPad recovery mode. You may have an option here to check for updates. Mine is disabled because mine is already updated to the latest version. If you want to try to update it, you can. And you may have options where you can then try to put in your password a few more times on the device. I've tried everything. I'm at the point here where I'm going to restore it. So we're going to click on the restore iPad option here. 
and it's going to ask me if I'm sure you want to restore the iPad to its factory settings. We're going to restore and update. And once you click this, everything is gone. So again, be careful. If you're not ready for it, don't do it yet. Now I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole process, but it does take a little bit of time. And while you're doing this, make sure that you don't touch the iPad, don't unplug it, leave everything and just let it do its thing while it's restoring and updating. All right, once you see this pop up on screen, your iPad or iOS device has been restored to factory settings, is ready to restart. Please leave your iPad connected. It'll appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So I'm gonna click okay to that. It's now away from my sidebar. If you're using iTunes, it's just gonna disconnect you, probably bring you to like that music page or the main page. And on screen, you can still see that it's loading. Let it finish. And as it said, it should pop back up on our screen. Now, once your iOS device powers back on, you can see here, it's going to go through that whole setup process once again. You can go through that. We'll just enter everything in here. And at this point, when you get to the activation lock, because we were already signed in to, let's say, our iCloud account, you can see it's locked to that account. You can't go any further unless you enter in the Apple ID you used with this device and the password. So if you don't remember that either, you're going to have to click on activation lock help, and you're going to have to go through that process. You may have to contact Apple. You may have to go through some authorization processes. But for the most part, a lot of us already know what our Apple ID is, so you just want to enter it in. All right, and once you've passed that, you can move on. We'll just continue and go through the rest of the process, enter in a password. And there you go, we're reconnected. We can access our iPad or iOS device once again. Now at this point, we can disconnect our iOS device from our computer. Just click the little triangle icon beside the name of your iOS device in the finders window or in iTunes, and then just unplug it from the device. Hopefully this never happens again to myself and for all of you. Unfortunately, this is just how it is. It's a compromise that we make for the security of these devices so that no one else can access our information. But when things like this happen, it's just a huge pain. But it's our own fault. We should remember the passwords we type in and you wanna keep them as secure as possible as well. But I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment box below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.